and this week on Cyvix Says, I've been asked about our ECUs and which one would be right for you. Hi, I'm Ed, I'm the Technical Operations Manager at Cyvex, and this week on Cyvex Says, I've been asked about our ECUs and which one would be right for you. So let's briefly go over the ECUs we have. Um, they start with the S7i. The S7i is our entry level, hardly an entry level ECU really, but it's our entry level ECU. Uh, and then we have our S7 Plus. We then have our S8. We have our S8 GDI and we also have an S12. The main differences between all these ECUs is the input and output capabilities. So uh, with the exception of the S8 GDI that has onboard direct injection for up to four cylinders. So the S7i, uh, that has one full bridge output which allows drive-by-wire control. Um, the, whereas compared to the S7 Plus, that has up to four full bridge drivers or eight half bridge drivers. Um, you can use these things for uh, turning on outputs to control things like uh, boost solenoids, or you might have a use where you'll be using them for dual drive-by wire motors if you've got twin inlet plenum on an engine. They also have more analog inputs and outputs. So if you're having uh, more speed sensors or if you've got more sensors on things, the S7 Plus is quite beneficial. The other thing that defines the S7 Plus from the S7i is you have more Lambda options. So the S7 Plus can have dual Lambda, but you've also got a choice of sensors, whether you want to use an NTK or an LSU or a Denso. They're all supported on board on that ECU. Uh, it's worth pointing out as well that all our ECUs have full knock control, um, and they also all support onboard wideband. It's just with the S7 Plus, you have more wideband options. Uh, then we can move on to the S8. The S8 allows fully sequential fuel and ignition on a, up to an eight cylinder engine. Um, you can do more with wasted spark, but ideally uh, it's up to eight. Uh, then you've also got the ability of the S12, which is 12 ignition outputs. So uh, that also has more than 50 output pins. And I think off the top of my head, somewhere around 30 in. You can look online for the comparison between the inputs and pins. Uh, we, we will link to that from, this, from the video. So really what defines our ECUs is the amount of IO that you need. They all have excellent onboard wideband fuel control. They all have excellent knock control. And really it's a case of looking what you need to control on the outputs, how many sensors you need on the inputs, which will guide, guide you down the path of what ECU is suitable for you. So let's look at the S7i on its own. The S7i allows a single knock control it has a single wideband control and up to 18 outputs and 16 inputs. So if you'd like to see more about what our ECUs offers in terms of inputs and outputs and configurations that we have available, just scroll down below. We'll provide a link to it, which you can go away and have a look at. If you have any questions about that, drop us a message. Uh, you can post that below as well. If you found this video interesting, give it a like, share it around and subscribe to our videos that we do coming forward. 